Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming from Thailand, from Bangkok. We are heading to one of the local malls in uh, Bangkok. Not that popular, but why did they pick up this place? Because uh, my Thai friend, she recommended to go and buy gold from one of the local shops where not tourists, but local people buy gold. So let's dive into it. Meanwhile, you are watching, I will uh, try to talk briefly about the gold culture in Asia and more specifically in uh, Thailand. As you may know, Thai people absolutely love gold. Uh, it's important part of their culture, both financially and symbolically. If you have been in Thailand, you would notice that many temples and uh, Buddhas, all of them are covered in a gold color. Uh, gold is dressed, used as religious symbols and uh, given as presents for important occasions. So in terms of all spheres of life, it's an important part of the Thai culture. As you know, um, in uh, most of the European countries, gold is measured mainly by grams. <clears throat> in USA, it's very common to measure gold in ounces. Uh, but in Thailand, the measure of the weight of gold in Thailand is baht, which weighed exactly 15.244 grams in a bar. All gold transactions in Thailand are executed in fraction of one baht. Therefore, the starting point for jewelry is a quarter of baht. Another important and uh, I would say unique characteristic of gold culture in Thailand is that uh, the gold uh, cleanliness is very high. It's um, very common to have gold in jewelry, 23 carats, which equals to 96.5% of pure gold. In contrast to Thailand, in India it's very common 22 carats. In uh, M Middle East Arabic cultures it's 21 carats, while in Europe and USA 18, 14 and even 9 carats is more common. That's why the main feature of the gold in Asian and Middle East countries is its purity, therefore its yellowishness of the color. As you can see it's so yellow. It, it seems like uh, more costume jewelry for those who are not used to the view to the color of the real gold. Anyways, that's what it is. That's how people evaluate and pressure gold and this shop is popular between among local people because people tend to invest in the species rather than just buying jewelry to wear um, the price for this gold is includes the price of the gold of the metal for the day of trade uh, per gram and the uh, three to five percent on the top for the work, which is not specifically complicated or high design. Uh, let's see on this earrings, which I have chosen to buy for myself. I pick up some pieces. I asked the seller to show me all of this. And I quite really like this earrings, 4.76 grams of gold 23 carats let me know below in comments what do you think about this piece as you can see it's very very yellow in color so i decided to get these earrings for myself they're not that bulky and chunky i got these earrings it's 4.76 grams of 23 carats for 10,900 thai baht including the tax let's move on and go to the gold bars as you can see there is plenty and amazing choice of the gold bars with the Chinese calendar images also there is gold buckles which are quite unique and I don't know who will wear it on the belt maybe more like collection stuff 
There is also some Buddha statues for those who are seeking also religious element as well as uh, animal theme like turtles, fish, lions, dragons, etc. I pick up some just to consider for the next time purchase but didn't buy any afterwards so let's have a look what we have here as a choice. For the contrast you can see the colors of the gold on the finger on my left side I have the 14 karat rose gold and this Thai gold is 23 karats yellow gold you can see it's so so yellow I feel like if you take the bar it's not so yellow I mean bar 24 karats so I would guess they are covering this gold with something else to make it so yellowish but I don't know what if anybody knows please let me know below in the comments how do they make this gold to be so much bright and yellow few more rings let's just have a peaceful look over this beauty as you can see the designs are not so sophisticated i would say it's more simplistic in terms of quality of work but still wearable enough looking cute look at this dragon i really like this piece but little bit not appropriate that appropriate for european culture for asia it's just the perfect match even though this ring is more like croissant type it's more minimalistic design but the yellowishness of the gold is outstanding this ring is also cute but as i said this color will be very outstanding out of the rest of your jewelry collection of yellow gold the flower is similar to the rings i'm just comparing the colors of the gold and now let's move quickly to my home after the thailand i want to film and show you that also i bought this fish it was less than half a gram i bought it for 80 uh, 880 baht it's 99.9 .9 pure gold i think it's kind of the foil inside is a good piece as a souvenir i'll just keep this fish for my good luck as it symbolizes wealth and also everybody knows about the fairy tale of the goldfish which is always good to have in your collection Meanwhile, again, I want to show you the earrings which I bought and I'm quite excited I have those in my collection. Again, just to remind, it's 23 carats and it's very yellow. The fish is 24 carats and you can see the color is not so intense. That's why I assume they covered this kind of jewelry with extra element. For comparison, this is 14 carat rose gold this is 18 karat yellow gold and this is 21 karat rose gold in contrast this ring is 21 karat yellow gold you can see the shades different shades of the gold but still nothing looks like this Thai yellowish gold if anybody knows what's the element on the top Please let me know otherwise i'm happy you watch till this moment i appreciate and hope to see you soon in the next video thank you don't forget to subscribe and like this video have a nice day and bye bye